output at any point is zero. Okay. And Kirchhoff's voltage law states that the algebraic sum of the EMFs and the voltage drops in a closed loop is zero. This I have already explained to you in the theory class. Summation of the EMF plus summation of IR. IR is the drop. This is the EMF voltage drop. This is equal to zero. So the different apparatus you will be using here is voltmeter. So here Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law, you bo both you will verify uh, uh, with uh, DC supply. You will provide DC supply and you will verify it. Okay, and uh, AC supply is also applicable in AC circuit. Uh, you can also uh, apply Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. Who has joined now? Suyash. Suyash, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Who is doing? Outside Keith University, Suyash, who is doing this one? Huh? You think to be very smart or what? Whoever is there, whoever is doing this one, you think to be very smart. The class will enter and thinking to be very smart. You are uh, the, the fullest. Who is doing out of all this uh, 91 student, whoever is doing, I am telling to him only. You are the fullest person. Okay. You do. How many times you are entering? There is no issues. Enter. Once again, enter. 100 times you enter. Nothing will happen. You will think to be very smart and you will uh, uh, escape like this. You will definitely be cut minded. Don't be so over smart. I am not telling to all of you. I am telling to who is doing. Only to that person. Okay. I am not telling to you. So those, those who are not involved in this, I am not, I am not telling you at all. Whoever is involved, I am telling to only that person. You think to be very forceful. If you have gods, you enter hundred times. Let us see. Okay. So here, what you will do? You will uh, uh, use this voltmeter, which will measure the DC voltage, ammeter, which will measure the DC current, having the range 0 to 1 to 2 ampere. Okay. That means the lower range is 0 to 1, upper range is 0 to 2. Tungsten filament lamp you are using, we will be using offline and online, both experiment you will be doing, then rheostat, then connecting wires. Now look at here, I will quickly uh, move because two experiments you will be doing. So here you see 220 volt DC supply you are giving. Okay. Well, these are the protective device. This is a potential divider. Potential divider means you are providing your 220 volt DC supply. What you will do it is you will vary the DC voltage. You can vary the DC voltage with the help of the potential divider. Okay. So potential divider connection you can see in the video, the offline video which will be shown to you. Here you can move, change this uh, uh, moving point. You will change this moving point such that what will happen? Here the resistance between these two terminals will change. Okay, so when this resistance will change, the voltage will also change between these two terminals. So you have connected a voltmeter. This is a DC voltmeter. You see under V, a straight line is there. This is a DC voltmeter, which will measure the DC voltage. This is a DC ammeter, which will measure the DC current. Okay. And these are the lamps. These are the tungsten filament lamp we are using. Or these are the loads. Or you can replace it by the help of registers. Simply because these are all resistive element. Only register. Tungsten filament lamp, which we are using, they are only purely resistive loads. So whatever, this is a single node, these two points are sort, sorted, this is a single node. So how much current is flowing to this particular node, how much current is flowing out from this, how much current is flowing out from this, you will see. How much current is entering, how much current is going flowing out. So you will just check what is the, whether Kitchell's current law is valid or not. Okay. Any doubt with this one? Ma'am, ma'am. Ah, tell, tell. 
मैम वो जो लास्ट पार्ट थोड़ा फिर से बोल देंगे जो नोड के बाद से यहाँ पर हाउ मच करेंट इज फ्लोइंग हियर हाउ मच करेंट इज एंटरिंग इन टू दिस नोट यू विल सी हाउ मच करेंट इज गोइंग आउट यू विल सी विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस अमीटर With the help of the ammeter, you see how much current is entering to the node, how much current is going out of the node because loads are there. Current will flow in this path. Current will this will flow in this path. You check what is the current flowing in this two ammeter. You check what is the current flowing in this ammeter. So this current will be equal to sum of these two current. Am I clear now? Yes, ma'am. No. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. So this is simple circuit. I am giving you. I will um, ask you to do some uh, little. I will give you some circuit. You will also verify with those circuits. Okay, not this simple circuit is not enough. You will verify some other circuits. I will be giving you. Okay, you will solve it by using theoretically whatever you have read the Kirchhoff's current law, Kirchhoff's voltage law. You will find out um, the Kirchhoff's vol with the help of Kirchhoff's voltage law. Find out the voltage. just using the components in the simulator you will check what is the voltage okay you use so that your kirchhoff voltage law will be verified okay now yes, come to okay now come to here this is here also 220 volt dc supply is given okay this is the protective device same with the help of potential divider you are changing the voltage so with the help of this voltmeter you are measuring the voltage okay you have connected three tungs tungsten filament lamp tungsten filament lamp which why we are using because these are all purely resistors okay yes somebody is asking something anyone is asking no okay no, so no. these are these are all the resistors tungsten filament lamp is a purely resistive flow okay so that is the reason why you are not using nowadays because it will only consume the power power will be dissipated in that uh, lamp okay because that is a only resistor wherever there is a resistor remember that there will always be a loss in the power okay there will always be the loss in the power in the form of heat okay so here what we are doing we have connected a voltmeter uh, across this tungsten filament lamp here also we have connected here also we have connected three voltmeter we have connected how much voltage we are providing you will measure these three voltages and you check how much voltage we are providing this voltage will be equal to this voltage plus this voltage plus this voltage this is how you will verify it. am i clear now yes ma'am yes ma'am and uh, what is that icdp on that in that circuit diagram who who asked this question uh, ma'am uh, shubhratim and uh, tell me your name who who shubhratim bhattacharya ji shubhratim very good very good i was supposed to ask you this question but you asked very good i am happy when you are asking this types of questions i am very happy that you are involved so icdp is iron clad double pole okay icdp is iron clad double pole you will see in the video this iron clad double pole okay iron clad double pole maybe they are not using i will show you the uh, Um, image okay here what happens what we are doing it is we are giving 2 220 volt dc supply how will you provide it how will you provide it we will use a iron clad double pole so that uh, in a single throw this uh, will be connected 220 volt uh, supply will be connected to the circuit understood what is yes, yes. here you see yes i will ask now you you see here uh this one is a dotted line actually what is the function why do, dotted line means what tell me yes tell me dotted line means what here you see you are able to see the dotted line yes ma'am yes ma'am what is the why why the dotted line is there then why you have not asked to the question each and every component you should know ha uh, each and every component you should know each and every wherever you are having any doubt okay we are not expecting that you know everything actually this is dotted line means this is mechanically connected you cannot connect it it electrically plus minus you cannot sort it okay 
you will connect it in mechanically clear nowadays actually we are using this protective device uh, we are in, in uh, place of this all this protective device we are using mcb with the help of mcb we are connecting now 220 volt dc supply to the circuit am i clear now ma'am yes ah Uh, can you again tell what is that uh, role of icdp icdp is uh, let me see i don't have actually icdp icdp ra image achi vandana madam achi ki vandana madam icdp madam iron clad double pole achi ki video re dekhi hobo pilan ko Here you see, I am showing you iron clad double core. Here you see this one. Yes, ma'am. Understood. Yes, ma'am. Understood, ma'am. Yes. Understood. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma yes, fuse just a dikh raha hai. हाँ, हाँ, में 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 switch on this one that means the it will be mechanically connected 220 voltage will be given to the circuit understood yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, ma yes so that is iron clad double actually nowadays we are using mcb okay instead of yes, uh, before, this use and dm yeah. we are using miniature circuit breaker all of you have seen yes. miniature circuit breaker yes ma'am yes, ma yes, ma yes, ma yes. so this is uh, your video next uh, i will uh, give you uh, one or two problem you see the video first kitchup's current law and kitchup's voltage law both the video you see then i will uh, uh, you will verify in this circuit another two circuit for it is kcl another two circuit for kvl i will uh, i will give you you will solve it theoretically and you will also verify in this lab only or uh, you after that only your lab will be complete okay madam you now said ha huh, tell am i can you please scroll downwards ma'am uh, to the observation table yes observation yes yes, yes observation table yes observation table ha huh. in the the manual you shared with us uh, that uh, in that uh, manual the observation table is all matlab uh, text upar aa gaya aur jab main pdf bhej dungi i will show you the video okay, okay. i will send you the just after this class i will send See what you will do it in the observation table for Kirchhoff's current law. Whatever the voltage you give it with the help of the potential divider, you change it, change the variable point, change, give some voltage, connect. Uh, uh, you see the ammeter current, okay? Then uh, the other two ammeter will measure I one and I two. You will see that I one is equal to I one plus I two. Here I want to tell you when you are doing the experiment practically. you may not be getting exactly equal okay i will not be exactly equal to i1 plus i2 that we may be a loss some uh, loss will be there okay because conductors you are using they are not pure conductors so practically you will be having some loss i may not be equal to i1 plus i2 but it's not that there will be a large variation plus minus 10% is all, uh, is uh, uh, acceptable okay so in the remark you will write i is nearly equal to i1 plus i2 if you are actually not getting the value you will not write i is equal to i1 plus i2 i is nearly equal to i1 plus i2 similarly here you give some voltage measure the voltage v1 v2 v3 okay then you will see that v is equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 here also some loss will be there okay so v will be nearly equal to v1 plus v2 plus v3 this is what exactly you will be doing calculation is not required and here do these two circuit which i have given you these are all very uh, easy circuit you will do some another two three circuits four circuit i will give two circuit for uh, kcl two circuit for kvl you will solve it theoretically using kirchhoff's current law and you will check it 
practically with the help of ma'am so total how many circuits you have to do ma'am uh, total three circuits total three okay. circuits i will okay. tell you you let okay. me call, let call you see the video yes madam you start the video any other doubt anyone having any other doubt tell me excuse me ma'am ha uh, tell yes ma'am in the first circuit uh, of k uh, cl icdp is not mentioned why so It i have told you i have told you actually now we are what we are doing it is these are all protective device icdp has been sold but here you see are, when you do the experiment instead of using all this directly we are connecting the dc supply to the circuit with the help of mcb actually okay yes, directly we are using mcp actually this total circuit we are using at an mcp understood this is replaced with the mcb miniature circuit breaker okay in the video also you will see miniature circuit breaker the circuit will be connected understood ha मैम आप जो बोली आईसीडीपी जो मैकेनिकली कनेक्ट होता है मैकेनिकली कनेक्ट का मतलब क्या होता है मैकेनिकली कनेक्टेड मतलब देखो तुमको मैं जो पिक्चर कहा गया मेरा पिक्चर देखो जो पिक्चर में दिखा रही हूँ ना तुमको प्लस माइनस पूरा चाहिए सर्किट को ठीक है यू विल यू विल गेट just wait one second ha uh, nidhi can you come me come to my chamber ha uh, you are having class now ha hmm. theek hai okay after 12 o'clock you come okay ha uh, now you can come i, I am in the machine lab electrical machine lab ha uh. okay so here what we are doing actually we are connecting now look at the circuit i am showing you here you want to connect a, a positive you want to connect negative so how will you connect it how will you connect it okay so for that uh, with a single throw where positive will be there negative uh, conductor will also be there so for that we are connect this is connected mechanical that means that switch you we have to switch suppose you are uh, um, uh, you are using the switch in your home okay single switch you are now the single switch when you are connecting uh, when you are uh, turning it on you have a phase where you have a neutral where the current is flowing in the phase and it is move, coming out from the neutral yes or no that yes, means it so the circuit is closed right in a single throw how the circuit is being closed understood or not yes ma'am yes ma'am like that got it who was asking okay, yes ma'am okay fine any other doubt tell me you should know what is each and every function of the element okay when you are use going from the doing the laboratory you should know what is the what are the different components what is the use of the each component it's not that a voltmeter ammeter is there you take some reading do the calculation and over pictures hold that a standard 6 7 uh, student can do you are not here for that purpose you should know what is the theory behind it what are the different components you are using if you are seeing the video you would have come to the offline you should know each and every component how the ratings has been done what are the different component what is the function of each component how you are connecting everything you should be involved because now you have gone to a separate uh, professional career engineering so you should be involved in the process involved in the experiment it's not that yes take the voltmeter reading ammeter reading voltmeter reading or do some plus minus operation with the help of scientific calculator i oh, verify pictures voltage law no a big no for this you are not here for that purpose okay so be involved now a video will be shown to you you will uh, then we will go for next uh, another two circuit and we will verify it okay while seeing the video any doubt you tell madam will pause you and he will hear she will explain okay madam you can start monalisa madam you will show na yes yes madam
now we will discuss about kirchhoff's current law in kirchhoff's current law states that in any electrical network the algebraic sum of a of current meeting at a point is zero and this one is the uh, circuit this is uh, this is our circuit diagram of kcl it is same as to your kvl circuit but in kvl circuit we use 3 voltmeter but in kcl circuit we use 3 ammeter circuit and uh, previously it is uh, regulated uh, dc regulated power supply and its rating is uh, 0, uh, 0 to 30 volt and 3 ampere same bol uh, same rheostats are used here this is 5 ampere and 50 ohm three, three same rheostats are using this is second and this one is your third rheostat and this is one uh, ammeter 0 to 1 0 to 0 1 2 ampere and this is 0 to 0 0 also 0 1 2 ampere and this is also 0 1 2 ampere in our circuit diagram single phase AC supply is there and this is my regulated power supply this is the output of the regulated power supply this is my positive and this is my negative first you connect the all series connections means positive to ammeter common ammeter 1 ampere to rheostat first end then second end to 1 rheostat then second end of the rheostat to ammeter then ammeter range point yeah, 1 ampere goes to negative then rest part of the circuit this is the same first end first rheostat second end to third rheostat first end and third rheostat second end to ammeter common the ammeter 1 ampere to negative my circuit our circuit diagram is over then come to our connection point in DC regulated power supply, this is my positive, this is our positive, this is our negative, positive to uh, positive point to common of the ammeter, then 2 ampere, 2 ampere to rheostat, first rheostat, first end, and sec first rheostat, second end to second rheostat first end and second rio and and second end to second end of the rheostat to ammeter common this is your second end of the rheostat and this is the ammeter common point and sec ammeter 1 ampere to my to our TC regulated power supply. Then first a first rheostat second end. First, second rheostat first end to third rheostat first end and third rheostat second end to ammeter common. Then Third, third ammeter 1 ampere to then return of the DC regulated power supply. Our connection is over. Then our circuit connection is over. Then we switch on the MCB. Then switch on our AC supply. AC supply to DC regulated power supply then take it at zero position then switch on the power set the value at in first ammeter we take zero to two ampere that's why we take zero to two ampere means upper scale but in that ammeter zero to one ampere scale 
we take lower scale in that ammeter also we take 0 to 1 ampere then we take lower scale then we vary the regulated power supply we take lower scale that's why this is 1 ampere set at 1 ampere sorry uh, 0.1 ampere and second emitter is point approx point 0 0.05 and this emitter approx point 0 0.04 then we note down the reading apply voltage is 7.2 volt and first emitter is 0.1 ampere, second one is 0 0.05, third one is 0 0.04. First reading is over, then second reading. This is 0.2 upper scale. This one is 0 0.09. And this one is point zero eight voltage is fourteen volt applied voltage is fourteen I is point two and second reading is over then point two Five. Sorry, this one is point three because uh, we vary this and set it at point three ampere. This is fast ammeter. Point three. This one is uh, point one five. This one is point one three. Yes. Total supply voltage is twenty three point three. Approx this is twenty three. Yes, yes, twenty three point three. Twenty three point three, and this is point one five. And this is 1.13. Okay. In that uh, tabulation, in KCL uh, circuit, I is equal to I1 plus I2. Means this I is equal to summation of I1 and I2. This is 0.1, this is 0 0.05, this is 0 0.04. Means 0 0.1 minus 0 0.04. 0 0.9 this is point zero 0.01 means this this point zero 0.01 is error in second table point 0.2 minus point 0.17 this is point zero 0.03 this point 0.3 is error so in third case this is point zero two this is error now kcl is verified now shut down we shut down the our uh, supply take it at zero position switch up kc supply then switch up the mcv thank you Ma'am, can you explain that remark part? Yes, ma'am. Ma can you explain the remark part? Ma'am, how will you find error in uh, that practical, ma'am? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. I, I, I'll say it. Just do it.
rectified. Now sort down. See, uh, what the error? That is the uh, meter error. Okay, uh, here is the uh, um, the meter is connected. The error is coming. Means total. Uh, what is uh, what is the m? That is the main current is nearly uh, uh, that is equal to your uh, summation of individual current. The summation is what? Point zero five plus point zero four. What is that? Point zero nine. Okay, but your main current is point one. That point zero one uh, difference is that is the meter error. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. But in the uh, virtual mode, uh, there is no error. Okay. But uh, okay. in case this is the offline mode, that is the meter error. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Understand? Okay. Okay. Next, uh, we are going to the KVL part. Application of KCL. and kvl now we will discuss kvl kvl means kirchhoff's voltage law kirchhoff its objective is to find the voltage across branches kvl states that the algebraic sum of the emf and the voltage drop in a closed loop is zero this is the formula summation of e plus summation of ir equal to zero This is the circuit diagram of KVL circuit, and this is my AC sub. This is our AC supply, single phase, two thirty volt, fifty hertz, and we in uh, here we needed DC supply. That's uh, that's why we uh, take one DC regulated power supply, which input is AC and output is DC, and its rating is G zero to thirty volt and three ampere across. The, uh, How many voltages it will come? That's why we take one uh, voltmeter across that DC regulated power supply. Then we connect the circuit for series connection. One ammeter. This is positive to common point from one point to this is rheostat, and this is second rheostat. This is third rheostat. These three rheostats are in series. Then last rheostat in to negative. Then across. Each rheostat one one voltmeter is there. Suppose this is R one, then this voltmeter is V one. Suppose this is R two, this is V two, this is R three, this is V V three. Means total total voltage. This voltage V is equal to V if total voltage V is equal to V one plus V two plus V three. Means So B is equal to B one plus B two plus B three. This then KVL is verified. This is our DC regulated power supply, uh, whose rating is thirty volt, thirty volt and three ampere. This this is the output positive and negative. This one is my. This one is our rheostat, whose uh, R one, whose rating is five ampere and fifty ohm. Same three rheostats are there. This is fast, and this one is second. Same five ampere and fifty ohm. Then this one is a third. This is also five ampere and fifty ohm. now we will go for connection first we will do the series connection output of the dc regulated power supply this is positive and this is negative this is so in uh, dc regulated power supply this is positive and this is negative from positive to ammeter common point First, we do series. That's why we will take ammeter, one ampere. This is also two ampere, but we will take here one ampere. That's why we take the lower scale reading. Then this is the first end of my rheostat, one ampere to one fixed end of the rheostat. Then second end to third end of the rheostat, 
second uh, second rheostat first end and second rheostat second end to third rheostat first end then second third rheostat second end to the negative of the dc regulated power supply then series connection is over now we will go for parallel connection v1 v2 and v3 one voltmeter across first resistor second voltmeter across second resistor third voltmeter across third resistor this voltmeter connection is 0 to this is 0 to 75 same this voltmeter also 0 to 75 connection and third one is also 0 to 75 connection here in that scale there is two scales 0 to 150 and 0 to 75 we take lower scale 0 to 75 scale means we take lower scale reading similarly This is zero to one fifty scale and zero to seventy five. We take here say zero to seventy five. That's why we take lower scale reading. Similarly, the first voltmeter also same range zero to seventy five and zero to one fifty. We take zero to seventy five scale. This is common and this is seventy five. For that voltmeter, one uh, display uh, meter is there. Digital meter. From there, we can also uh, measure measure the uh, voltage reading of the supply voltage, or by one multimeter, by or by one multimeter. Also, we can measure the DC voltage that is across these two point. Now, our circuit connection is. over now we will switch on the supply first mcb on switch on the single phase ac supply 230 volt and 50 hertz then switch on the regulated power supply and adjust it to adjust it to 15 volt this is 15.1 approx 15 volt Applied voltage is fifteen volt. Then current flowing through that circuit is point. Uh, lower scale we have take. That's why this is point one ampere. This is fast voltmeter across fast resistor. This is approx four point five. Second one is uh, five. It mirror deflection is there. That's why we you know 
you saw 4.5 but uh, it is 5 uh, and this is also 5 4.5 first one second one is 5 and third one is also 5 then second reading we have to take vary it and take it at 20 volt slowly we adjust it and this is total 20 volt means applied voltage is 20 volt then current flowing through that circuit is 0.13 ampere This is uh, six five point five or six. It may be six. This is uh, seven. I think six point five. This one. This one is seven. Six. This one is six. This one is 7, sorry, 6.5 and this one is 7. Then, we will go for next reading. This is 25 volt. Slowly we will increase. Okay, approx this is 25.1, we will take here 25, current through that circuit is 0.16 ampere and this one is uh, 7.5 volt, fast voltmeter, second is 8 Third one is uh, 8.5. Our observation part is over. Now we will switch off the circuit. First, take it at zero position and power off then switch off the ac supply then switch off the mcv this is the procedure of the to off one experiment now we will go for calculation according to kvl circuit applied voltage is equal to v1 summation of v1 V2 and V3. Then uh, in first observation, applied voltage is 15, summation of 4.5 plus 5 and 5. This is 14.5. 15 minus 14.5. This is 0 0.05 is your error. For second calculation, applied voltage. Sorry, it is 0.5, not 0 0.05, it is 0.15 minus 14.5 is equal to 0.5. According to second observation, applied voltage is 20, summation of this 3 voltmeter is 19.5, error is also 0.5. And for third calculation, this is 20, applied voltage is 25. Summation of 7.5, 8 and 8.5, 24, this is 1 volt, means our KVL is verified. Thank you. Today, we will discuss
स्टूडेंट एनी डाउट इन द वीडियो नो मैम ओके ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टैंड केसीएल एंड केबीएल यस मैम तो इन पोर्टल मोड विल वेरीफाई आई एम जस्ट गिविंग द रीडिंग आई एम शेयरिंग द रीडिंग जस्ट टू टेक द स्क्रीनशॉट यस मैम वेट मैम फॉर केबीएल एंड केसीएल यस जस्ट अ मिनट This one is KCL. Okay. KCL and this one is KBL. Has to take the KCL uh, screenshot. This one over. KBL. Then this is of offline mode or online mode. This this is one of. This is offline, na? Okay. The video what you show yes, it is offline or online? I'm off offline. Offline. So obviously the reading is for on offline. Okay. Yes. Ma'am, uh, only uh, one reading you have to take, no, ma'am. For case here and case. One KCL. reading means? Uh, means that this one table, one observation table, no, for each for case here and case here. This offline observation yeah, you have yeah, to write yeah. just for reference we are giving. Okay. Okay. Just you keep it with you. And and you tally it with the you ha, you have to write in a rough record, na? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that's uh, the record you have to submit with offline and online reading both. But you have to mention this is offline reading for KCL and KBL, and online reading after completing online experiment, you take the online reading. Okay, ma'am. Understand? Yes, ma'am. So no doubt. Then we will go for the construction part. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My screen is visible. Uh, I yes, think all of yes, you have the link. All of you have the link. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so no, no need to give the link. Already Ohm's law you did. So the equipment required. Tell me for KCL first. We will do KCL for KCL. What are the equipment we no need? No wires. Switch, mm -hmm. register, uh, battery, ammeter. Ma'am, mm -hmm. three ammeters. Register. Three ammeters. Okay. Ma'am, three, three registers. Always. Yeah. With the battery, one switch. Ma'am, is it compulsory to take switch? Yes, switch. Uh, for safety purpose, we are taking now. For offline yes, purpose. Sir. Okay. Also for online, you take it. No problem. You are doing in online, na? So register. Then ammeter. Three ammeter we need. Yes, ma'am. Then we are just connect it like this so that the uh, circuit is also good looking. Okay. So yes, everything is there, or anything missing? Three, uh, three uh, register. I am taking. You can also take the lamp, lo, light bulb. It is written. You can also take the lamp instead of register. Okay. Then three ammeter because we are taking the lamp load also the register. So these are the load. Okay. Then next thing is your value. 
amount. Already all of you know now. This is for electron. Yeah. If I click here, this is for conventional. Okay. Then this is level. This is for value. After clicking, we get the value. Okay. So all the register are of same value. Ten ohm, ten ohm, ten ohm. Arbitrarily, it is coming. You can change it. Already you know how to change. Suppose I am taking it. I will tell you any value. Twenty, thirty, forty. Twenty, ten, ten. No problem. You can change, or you can change the same value. Okay. Also, you take this is twenty. You can take the same value or different value. No problem. Okay, then voltage nine volt it is given. Take it thirty forty or any value. Suppose fifteen volt I am taking. Okay, then after this, what we have to do? Just close the switch. Okay, can you see? Yes, this is the flow of electron. This is the flow of electron. Now. If I click here, already you know this is the circuit connection. According to our circuit, the resistor symbol, the supply positive negative. Okay, like this it is coming. Understand? So you see, this is the flow of electron. Electron flow is what is the direction of electron? Opposite of current. That is from which direction to which direction? Positive to negative. Positive to negative. Electron flow is positive to negative. Negative to hmm? negative to positive. Yes. Now it is the flow of what? Current. See. Current. Current, current direction current. is opposite of electron. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is like this. The circuit is there. Then click in this mode. Then you see what are the Current value. First, this is the I current. To verify KCL, what we have to do? This is the jun junction point. Yes or no? From here, the current is divided. This is the input current. You see, this current is input here, and here you notice how it will be divided. See, see this. It will be divided into this side and this side. Okay. So we have to prove I is equal to I one plus I two. Yes or no? Yes. So here you see zero point five. Here zero point two five, zero point two five. So my son is zero point five. Already, yes. ma'am has asked. Uh, ma'am told that uh, in the video the some error is there, but here no error is there because virtual mode we are doing, so no instrument error is there. Is, is it clear or uh, any doubt? Yes, ma'am. Clear. Yes, ma'am. I think no. I think uh, no need to explain KBL. KBL. All of you do it because it is three register circuit. I'm your According voice. According to our manual. Ma'am, we can take three. Now I'm ready. Ma'am. Voltmeter voltmeter option is there listen listen here one voltmeter two voltmeter is there two voltmeter option okay so yes, take two voltages then take another ma'am your then voice is like ma'am your voice is lagging yes ma'am no audible ma'am okay now now i am audible this and wait wait Wait, wait. And then my voice is lagging, ma'am. Uh, so you have seen both. Of them. Oh, am I audible, student? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma Hello. Okay. Okay. Network issue is there. Listen. Here, two voltmeter option is there. Okay. So you have to connect three resistor in series. So two, three voltage you have to measure. 
so you first connect two volt meter then for another register across another register one volt meter is it clear to all of you yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am i i am no, i am not doing kbl because it is very easy you can do it yes or no or i have to show it no ma'am okay can you please show once kbl okay very easy just i am taking three register connected in series same battery i'm not connecting switch okay directly i'm connecting this is the circuit if you connect switch also no problem see completed got it then you have to verify in this circuit suppose i will verify how much voltage is there i am increasing the voltage little bit suppose 32 then what you have to do you have to measure the v1 how much it is coming 10.67 67 okay you just remember it This is how much? Ten point six. Also ten point because because same resistance is there. You can take the different resistance value. No problem. Ten twenty thirty ten ten fifteen any value. No, this is not necessary to take the same value. You can take it. So all are ten point six seven. Then add it and tell me how much it is. Ten point six six seven into three. Approx thirty two. Ten thirty two. Okay. Okay. Yes, so. So very bad. So if you are using two volt meter, two connect here and after taking the reading, you can connect in the first one. Understand? Yes, ma'am. Or any doubt? Very simple, very simple okay. experiment. Already theory. So KCL and KBL are very bad. So just five ten minute we are giving after completing. चित्रलेखा मैडम यस मैडम मैडम दे विल गो टू देयर लिंक ना ना हां यू हैव एक्सप्लेन द बोथ पिच ऑफ करंट लैंड वोल्टेज ना ना यस मैडम यस मैडम एनी एनी डाउट एनी अदर डाउट यस मैडम यस एनी एनी डाउट एनी डाउट टेल मी no ma'am okay okay just wait madam it is 12 right now just wait another uh, okay, problems <laughs> let me see just... okay ma'am i'm stop sharing okay ma'am yes yes i will give you two problems you solve this one by using kirchhoff's current law and voltage law then uh, you will uh, the two experiment which you, you have uh, shown offline and uh, those two circuits you will do as well as this circuit. my screen is visible to all of you yes yes ma'am visible ma'am yes yes i am giving you a simple circuit all of you have remember the current divider rule yes or no yes ma'am yes ma'am just here i am given showing you a circuit you tell me all of you draw this circuit
this one is 40 volt this one is 10 volt this one is 6 ohm 5 ohm this one is 9 ohm 20 volt 8 ohm 5 ohm 7 ohm you will find out what is the voltage vce this one is a b c d e f g h you will find out what is the voltage vce using kirchhoff's voltage law and vag vag using kirchhoff's voltage law find out then we will do this circuit simulation in the simulation software. Find out using Kirchhoff's voltage law. One problem from Kirchhoff's voltage law, another problem for Kirchhoff's current law. I'm sorry, ma'am. I disconnect, ma'am. Can you please repeat, ma'am, what to what to find? Yes, I have drawn just uh, uh, from this circuit. You find out what is the value of VCE voltage, VCE and VAG. You will find VAG. out. Okay. Okay. Voltage uh, VCE means voltage of point C with respect to E. Voltage of point C with respect to E. Quickly do because you have to do experiment in the simulation also. Similarly, VAG means voltage of point A with respect to G. You will find out. Do it quick. Very easy problem I have given you, but a tricky. <coughs> Theoretically, find out, then we will do it in the virtual. Yes, anybody have found out? Anybody have done? Tell me, yes or no? Let it be wrong. No issues with wrong. No problem if you are telling a wrong answer, no problem. Yes, tell me what is the value of VCE? Vivez, are you doing? Yes, no. Okay. Yes, so you will find out what tell me? Voltage of point C with respect to E. So you start from E. I will start from point E and I will end to point which point I want? C. 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 Okay. I will start from E, I will end at C. I will see. Now, what is the current for uh, in order to find out the voltage across 5 ohm? I need in the one current. Circuit, in 5 ohm. One ampere. First, yeah. in first circuit, Here it one is ampere. how much? One, one ampere. ampere. Very good. Very, very good. Then here this is how much? 40 yeah. divided by 7 plus 5 plus 8. 7 plus 5 plus 8 is 20. 2 ma'am. 40 divided by 20 is how much? 2. 2. Okay. So VC will be equal to how much? VC will be equal to how much? Tell me. I will start from point E. Voltage of point C 
with respect to E. So I will start from point E and end it at C. So tell me what will be the um, uh, equation here. I will. I am coming from E. Current is flowing two ampere in the same direction. So what will be my equation? Tell me. Minus five into two. Minus five into two. Then yes, plus ten. Yes. Then. Uh, then. Um, uh, minus, uh, minus five. No, no, plus, 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 ma'am. Sorry. Plus, how much? Um, uh, five into five. one. Five into one. Five, five into one. one. Plus um, five into one. One. Five volt answer. How much it is coming? Five volt. Five volt. Five volt. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Acha. Next, B A G. B A G. B A G. Tell me. Yes, B A G. Tell me. What is the equation? Tell. The minus twenty uh, into six. Hmm. I will start from G and it will end at uh, end at uh, two into seven. Two into seven. Two minus two into seven. Seven into how much? Two. 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 Ten. And again plus ten. Um, plus ten. Plus ten. Plus ten. Minus. 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 Why minus? Why minus? Plus plus six into one. अरे क्या minus तो हाँ कब minus नहीं तो plus plus नहीं तो minus क्या कर रहे हो? Plus. मैं एक बार मैं confusion हो गया मैं वो plus वाला मैं sign कर रहा हूँ. Six into one. One. Yes. How much it is coming? Thirty. Sixteen plus fourteen. Thirty. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma you will do this one. This problem, you will check it with the with okay. the help of what simulation. Understood, mm -hmm. all of you. Yes, ma'am. Ah, yes, ma'am. You have done it. Theoretical, you have calculated. You will check it in the lab. Second, one question I am giving you because time is not there. You have to do it in the online. Another simple question I am giving you. हाँ बोलो मैं नाउट था मैम मैम जो हम लोग जैसे V C का निकाल रहे हैं तो हम E से C क्यों जा रहे हैं मैम C C क्यों नहीं जा रहे बोल्टेज सब C with respect to E बोल्टेज सब point C I want बोल्टेज सब point C with respect to E तो मुझे बोल्टेज सब point C चाहिए with respect to E yes मैम कॉर्ड Yes. तुम्हारा ये मतलब suppose एक potential difference है five five volt implies what This is at zero volt. This is at five volt. Understood or not? Yes, ma'am. With respect to this one, this is at five volt. Understood or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Got it, ma'am. Got it. So here, uh, yes. Second question. I am giving you another easy question. I was supposed to give one uh, tricky question, but I I don't think I will get time. I will do it in the theory class. Ma'am, uh, will we write this ma'am equation on practical copy question? Ah, ah. Yes, yes. प्रैक्टिकल जो कर रहे हो दिस वन हम वी नीड टू ड्रा द सर्किट डायग्राम आल्सो हां सर्किट डायग्राम करना और इक्वेशन लिखने जरूरत नहीं है सिर्फ स्क्रीनशॉट करके करो आई वांट यू टू डू मैम सेकंड क्वेश्चन फॉर केसीएल सेकंड क्वेश्चन फॉर केसीएल यू विल फाइंड आउट आई हैव गिवन टू ओम ऑल रेजिस्टेंस आर इक्वल uh, दो या अनइक्वल दो इक्वल होगा तो पूरा एकदम इजी हो जाएगा दिस वन यू टेक इट एज वन ओम दिस वन यू टेक इट एज वन ओम टू वन ओम टू टू ओम सॉल्व करो व्हाट इज द करंट फ्लोइंग फाइंड आउट वोल्टेज यू टेक आई हैव नॉट आल्सो कैलकुलेटेड वोल्टेज सिंपल आई एम गिविंग यू यू टेक 10 वोल्ट You will find out what is the current flowing. Okay, here. What is the current flowing here, 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 here? Jaldi karo. Ma'am, what is that uh, last resistance? One ohm. One ohm. Ye wala one ohm. Ye wala one ohm. Two one ohm. Two two ohm. इक्वलेंट रेजिस्टेंस कितना है मुझे बोलो व्हाट इज आर इक्वलेंट टेल मी थ्री ओम 
यहाँ पर देखो इतना सारा थर्टी बोल रहे हो गलत आएगा तो तुम सबको मार पड़ेगा कैसे भी मारू ऑनलाइन में लिखो देखो कितना कितना है निकालो करंट फाइंड आउट व्हाट इज द करंट करंट डिवाइड बाय रूल लगाओ कैलकुलेटर यूज करो साइंटिफिक कैलकुलेटर यूज करो जल्दी करोगे 5 मिनट्स यू आई यू आई विल गिव मैम फिर से तो जो आप प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन दी थी वही बन जाएगा मैम सर्किट डायग्राम मैम 10 5 5 10 अरे तुम ये वाला बनाओ कैसे हो करंट डिवाइड बाय रूल लगाओ What is the current flowing in one no, ohm? What is the current? Ten, ten ampere. One ohm. One ohm. How much? Five hundred and ten. Ten ampere. Either ten ampere. How two ohm? Five ampere. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You will check it. This one, you will check it. These two problem, you do it in addition to those two. Banana. Check it, banana. सिमुलेशन में हम सर्किट बनाना है हां सिमुलेशन में बनाओ अभी ये पे, पहले दो पे, पे, फर्स्ट टू यू डू इट मैम अभी जो आपने क्वेश्चन दिया दोनों को अभी बनाएंगे क्वेश्चन हां ओके चार सर्किट का सिमुलेशन बनाओ आई विल आस्क यू टू शेयर द स्क्रीन जल्दी जल्दी बनाओ 40 मिनट्स से 15 मिनट्स आई एम गिविंग यू टू डू द सिमुलेशन आफ्टर दैट रैंडमली आई विल कॉल नेम्स Uh, you will all of you will share screen. I have given the break uh, breakout room. You will share. Abhi fifteen minutes. I am giving you twelve thirty five. You will start to sharing screen. Do it. Ma'am. Ah. Ma'am, ye jo do sir, ab diye abhi jo do question. Ma'am, usse ham practical copy mein likhe kya? Ah. Tum pehle kya likhoge? Nahi likhoge. Baad mein main bolungi. Abhi turant karo. Fifteen minutes ke andar ye complete karo simulation. क्या लिखोगे नहीं लिखोगे दैट आई विल टेल यू लेटर ऑन अभी 15 मिनट्स आई एम गिविंग यू 12:35 यू विल स्टार्ट शेयरिंग जल्दी
நந்தன்